Tropical cyclone Yasa has formed. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. We're watching two tropical storms at the moment. One of them is now named Cyclone Yasa, just off here on the western side of Fiji, near Vanuatu, on the top of this big high, which is coming into New Zealand. So this storm is going to deepen over the next few days. It's stuck between these two nations, between Fiji and Vanuatu. It's likely to get to the severe category three status. And in fact, it could go higher than that in the perfect breeding grounds for this storm. And with this tropical airflow coming through, that's the equator there. There's that warm airflow feeding into it. And another storm not far away near Tonga and the Cook Islands. This one is dropping away like this. So it should sort of miss most of the islands, but there will be some strong winds and some downpours today and tomorrow as it moves through and starts to deepen. Now there is some sort of path for this cyclone to reach New Zealand. Weather Watch's confidence for that happening, around about 40% at the moment, and we were 25% a week ago. So you can see it's sort of confidence is gradually starting to go up. Here is Tuesday. So we've got this enormous high over uh, New Zealand coming out of Australia. We've got the high though. And in Australia, more wet weather coming in. They've had a stormy past day or so around Queensland. Um, in fact, some locals saying it was like a category one cyclone, the way that the winds were. That system's fallen apart, but the rain is sliding down the eastern side right down to Sydney. New Zealand, not much to talk about on Tuesday with that high there. And the storm sitting up here close to Vanuatu. It's closer to Vanuatu than it is to Fiji. Uh, that will be pushing in some dangerous seas heavy rain, and that storm will just be deepening further. By Wednesday, now we've got two storms up here quite clearly. Now this one, one to watch, but it is moving away from most of those islands up around the Cook. So we'll keep an eye on it, but it should be moving slowly, slowly into open waters away from land. But clearly, if you live in this area and you're watching our video, Keep up to date with your local uh, weather warnings. The storm up here, not moving much. It's stuck. It's like a spinning top, just going around and around in the same place. And we've got this big high over New Zealand. A windier change coming through. Forgot to mention, Tuesday's a hot day across New Zealand. Wednesday's also, also looking fairly warm, um, although that wind will be a little more noticeable. On Thursday, the high is still stuck over New Zealand. The cyclone is still stuck between Vanuatu and Fiji, now starting to drift closer to Fiji. Heavy rain will become more of an issue there, and the seas may well be very dangerous both sides of that storm, both for Fiji and Vanuatu as this low deepens further. The storm out here now well away from land, only a, an issue for you know flights and ships that are out at sea. Otherwise, that is not a problem for us. So let's get to the very end of the week. On Friday, there is a bit of a change coming for the lower South Island, a burst of wet weather in Fiordland and over in Westland, South Westland, gusty winds, and a little bit of a temperature drop. There's a small low just hugging you there, Southland, that'll help drop temperatures a wee bit it, still mostly settled in the north and that storm closer to Fiji. In fact, there could be gale force winds if this map is accurate. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of movement in the days ahead. Into the weekend, so the storm goes past Fiji, then it starts to drop southwards and this is where it gets a little more interesting for New Zealand. We've got this big high out here to the east that's holding firm at the moment and pushing back giving this, this system, a, a, this low, a path, which sends it either directly into New Zealand or more towards the Tasman. Now, if the high stays there, that low will sort of come up and, or sorry, come down, I should say, and start to fall apart. Uh, if the high moves away a little bit, it allows that storm to come straight on in. And if the high moves away fast, which is not at this stage forecast, but if this high moves away qu quickly, that low could track past to the east. So there are a few scenarios here. That's why our confidence is around 40%. That still means there's a 60% chance it won't hit us. So we're just trying to see what's going on at the moment. Our final map is for Sunday. It shows that low getting quite close. This is the GFS modeling. It's not quite as zoomed in and as detailed. So the air pressure may be much lower than what you're seeing there. Uh, but as you can see, very close to New Zealand. And we've got this big blocking high out here, which is holding up that low from going this way. It wants to naturally pull southeast down to the Southern Ocean, but that high blocking it from doing so. So one to watch as we go on towards this weekend, we might be seeing a low from the tropics or a storm, not sure yet, one or the other, but either way, there is a chance of some tropical rain coming down and some wind as well and dangerous seas one week from now in the final week before Christmas. So we'll keep you up to date. Our next update on this will be tomorrow, Tuesday. We'll see you then.